Today I'm going to show you through a tutorial on how to use Base Chain, but more importantly, how to get your tokens on chain from Coinbase by using your own wallet to start to bring people on chain. So it's about onboarding the next 1 billion users according to Coinbase's goals. But um, I want to run through and show you on chain and exactly the power of the blockchain, this application layer that's now been built by Base to let developers deploy uh, contracts, smart contracts, and then allow users like yourself that are coming on to start to understand and get into the next next step from you know utilizing Coinbase as just a trading platform where you're you're selling a couple of tokens, but but crypto and and the blockchain itself is is far broader than just a couple of coins on chain. So. What I want to do is I'm going to do this tutorial to show you exactly how you can set your wallet up, how you can move funds from Coinbase. So we're going to move some funds across. We're going to get you on chain for the first time if you've never ever interacted with a chain. So there's multiple chains. So you, so you would have heard of Ethereum and that's the that's mainnet. That's the largest layer one uh, network that we, that we currently have. Um, apart, I should say apart from Bitcoin, but it's it's more of an application layer Ethereum and we're going to go through and show you some of the things you can do once you set up a wallet and then you take custody of your own your own tokens there. So let's go through and just do this as a pretty quick tutorial, show you all the steps involved to get well, we've got some Ethereum here sitting in Coinbase. We're going to go to um, the Chrome store. We're going to add the Rabi wallet. Now there's a couple of wallet selections you can choose from. There's MetaMask, there's there's other wallets that interact with certain chains. But look, a lot of people these days, uh, there's, uh, Coinbase has their own wallet as well, but a lot of people these days are selecting Rabi. So that's why I'm gonna show you Rabi because it's got a really cool interface and it's, it's, it's quite easy to use. And as you can see here, it gives you a good update on your total value of your assets and there's a, there's a lot you can do with Rabi. So let's add Rabi to Chrome because it's as simple as that really. You go to the Chrome store, make sure it's Rabi.io just so we make sure that you're adding the um, the right wallet here because you don't want to be adding something that's not Rabi, putting or, or creating a wallet and sending tokens to it. So just be careful there. Um, I'm just going to pin Rabi there so it sits there. And what you're going to find is once it opens up here, you're going to have to create this wallet. So what you're doing now is creating a wallet so that you can send those Ethereum from Coinbase into this wallet and you can get started. So some people may have already had a wallet created in the past and they've got what we call a seed phrase. That seed phrase is, is say 12 different words that basically are like the key to your wallet. Okay, so what you can do here is you can import that uh, seed phrase if you've got another wallet. But in this case here, we're, we're acting as if you've never been on chain before. So you're going to create your, your new wallet and it's going to give you a seed phrase. So we're just going to make a quick password here. Um, I'm, it says it needs to be eight characters long. So let's, let's just try and use uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And don't worry, there'll be no Ethereum in here because this is just a quick test wallet. Okay, so we've set the password. It's allowed us to create it there. Then we're going to show the seed phrase here. So we, we can grab this and save this. Okay, so you need to keep this backed up somewhere because if your computer breaks or anything like that and you don't have access to this, you will lose your funds. You will not be able to reopen this wallet on another uh, PC. So what you can now do is once you have this seed phrase, you can effectively then take it and put it on multiple PCs. So you could have your wallet replicated. But what you're doing now is creating your hot wallet so you have a wallet on chain to interact with. So I've saved the phrase. Now you have all these wallet addresses that have been populated for you. So let's just, so some people might want one, some people might want two, but for the ease of this, let's just create or, or show one of our wallet addresses because this seed phrase is linked to all of these wallet addresses. So we're done. That's going to pop us through here and we should have our Rabi wallet open up here with zero dollars worth of funds in it. Okay. So then we come in here and we can easily get, this is your address. So think of this like 
um, your bank account number, so to speak. So you now have a wallet address that if you share this address with anyone, they can send you funds. It can be in any token that's related to that network. So at the moment, we're on the Ethereum network. So we're gonna go into here because we wanna send it to base. Now, the, the thing with Ethereum is it costs a lot more to interact. So these layer twos like base are there to, to reduce the cost that it costs to interact on, on Ethereum mainnet, but still have the security of mainnet and have that that tra those transactions going back and recorded on the Ethereum blockchain. So what we're doing is we're operating on an L2 at the moment. So we're gonna send just a little bit of Ethereum here. So we're gonna come along. Um, you know that I copied that address there. So we add that address in. We can put it in in the dollar value here. Um, so let's just say, or we can put it in ETH, which is what I actually wanna do. So I wanna go, 0.01. So we're going to move $18 worth of Ethereum and we're going to move that. Oh, let's go back because I've um, not changed it to base network. So you need to make sure that you change it to the network that you want to use, right? So we have that Ethereum sitting there. I was going to send it to Ethereum mainnet if I hadn't adjusted there. So let's come here. <clears throat> we put in the amount we want, preview the send, and effectively. We're gonna send that now. So it's gonna take less than 10 minutes, it says. Um, I've just been sent a code. Um, so I'll quickly pop that in, which is just a quick Coinbase verify. Let me just see. Don't worry, this is just a temporary password and it'll be gone. So we need to do that so that we can send these funds across. So now the funds are going to be sent across and they'll be um, coming across to that wallet. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna quickly show you a couple of other things because the, the beauty of the chain is that everything is, is embedded or these smart contracts are what they actually are, are embedded on the chain that allow us to do certain actions. So think of them like contracts, like almost like legal agreements. So, and, and, and very similar to software where they are rules based. So based on certain aspects that a, a criteria is requested, these contracts act as the, as the law or the rules to, to what actions to create or what to do with the funds. And, and obviously this is, this is a further um, step where you, you would need to go in and learn more about contracts but it's the first step onto the chain and that's what's powering everything on chain. So it really is an exciting place to be. And you can see that those funds have already come across. So you can just go in here and you can see the transaction where I've received, and don't worry about these, like this airdrop stuff, just avoid that completely. People are just sending stuff to that address because they must have seen it's just been populated. But definitely here, um, you can see that 0.01 Ethereum, and this is the blockchain, this is the record. So if you click on it, it's gonna take you to base chain. I could put the address in here, it'll show you these transactions, or I could click on here, and it's gonna show you this exact transaction. It's gonna show you the wallet address that it came from, the wallet address it went to, and you're getting to see the amount of Ethereum. So you're getting to see the power of the blockchain and how it's like this, this uh, immutable ledger that's there that basically shows the TXs or the transactions that are, have occurred in the past and it now keeps that as a, um, as a record and it can't be altered. So that is the beauty of the blockchain. So you're, you're starting to see the power there, right? So now that we've, and, and look, you don't have to interact in base explorers and stuff like that. I'm showing you this because I want you to understand the power that's behind all of this. But um, let's go in and let's connect to a, to a DAP. So Equalizer is a DEX or a decentralized exchange. So the, what's happening here is it's uh, wanting to use uh, MetaMask there instead of Rabi. So we need to select, um, let's just do a, a reset of this page because it probably hasn't picked up Rabi yet. See how I need to flip it so that it uses Rabi as the wallet. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'll flick that across. Now I'll connect. And, and sorry, the reason we're doing that is because it, it wanted to use MetaMask as the default wallet. I've just flicked it to use Ravi. So if you have never set up MetaMask, that wouldn't happen in your instance. 
So we just connect the wallet and you can see that that address is now connected. In this case here, we're on the wrong network. It'll automatically switch us to base by doing that. But what you're doing is you're connecting your wallet and you wanna be on the base network because that's where your funds are, all right? So um, basically we're coming in here and we're showing you a decentralized exchange. So think of this like, um, like Coinbase, but it has the funds on chain. So we have these things called, and I'll quickly show you this so you know where the, the contract's interacting, but we have these things called liquidity pools, which have all these funds in there to allow people to do swaps. So you can swap any coin on chain. So for the purpose of this, our native token at Equalizer is Scale. So we'll use Scale, but you can come in here and buy 0.0. You always need to have on the, on the blockchain a little bit of gas in Ethereum when you're operating on base chain. So whatever you do, don't come in here and use all of it because it actually won't allow you to make that transaction because you won't have any gas reserved to pay for the transaction. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come in and we're just gonna make it 0.05, uh, sorry, 05. So we can, we're gonna use about 50% of our ETH and we're gonna buy some scale. So what you'll see is you, you now come down here and it's gonna give you this other token which we have liquidity on the, on the network. And it's as simple as this. So now you're getting to see what happens when you sign a transaction. So we sign a transaction here and this is like you saying, or, or pretty much like saying pay now. I, I like to think of it like a shopping cart as such, because you can come on here and think of you're on there buying something on the web and you would be using your, um, you would effectively be using your credit card. So you'd go in there, you'd go pay now. Well, think of this like a little FPOS terminal that sits on the chain. And what you can see now is it swapped our tokens from Ethereum to scale. So we just, um, basically created the transaction and then we were able to come in here and if you go back to the wallet now you're going to see that transaction went through you can go and have a look at it on the chain so let, let's quickly open it up and it's showing you everything that's occurred so you're going oh we, we use 0.005 ethereum uh, and we swapped it for this amount of scale so now we have scale in our wallet um, we can come back here pop in here and we have a look at, sorry, and we go back to just what's happening in the wallet. And now we're starting to see, we've got $9 of scale and point of, because we've used a little bit of Ethereum for the gas, right? So we can go and do that swap again and we can just basically swap our scale back to, um, back to Ethereum. And now we're gonna do the swap in reverse and you'd have your Ethereum back minus any fees or costs that are involved there. So I think you're starting to see the power of the blockchain and this is just a simple one step application. There's so many more things you can do, but this is like your first on-ramp. This is showing you um, the power of the blockchain and why we're not just, um, why Bitcoin and Ethereum and all of these tokens that have utility have um, so much power and, and the power behind them that's backing them which is base chain.